up on Bensdale. Right around the corner. What's the number on Bensdale? Old Shansky, what a surprise! You still working for me? Well, I'm trying to. Give me the number. In Chechnya, people who drove cab but picked up no fares you didn't talk to, didn't talk about, didn't go near. Sounds dreamy. What's the number? When you police sergeant, you secret police sergeant. That's why you lost your job. Forget it, I got him. Ma'am, where are we going? 718 West Erie. Are you sure? Yeah, 718 West Erie. Angel House coming up. I thought shelters were secret. Well, it's not a CIA operation, but it's secure. You'll be fine. God, if a cab driver knows about the shelter that my husband knows, drive me someplace else. Anywhere in particular? You got family? Yeah, sister, but it's the first place he'll look. I don't know, maybe, maybe a hotel. You know, any inexpensive. Listen, go to the shelter. Your husband's not going to break in and drag you out. Trust me. People behind a desk isn't gonna stop my husband. This is what they do. You'll be fine. He'll kill me, okay? Hey, shh, it's okay, babe. He's a cop. They go where they want, right? Where do you wanna go? What's the mother's story? Pretty terrible or just slightly terrible? I never asked. One night, we sent them on their way. What are you doing here, Mike? She was ready to run. After the shelter, she wanted me to take her to the train station. And you wanted to make sure that they stayed in town? No, I didn't want her slapped with a kidnapping charge. Hey, I think it's great you going out on a limb to help. What I'm asking is why. Chris, can we just leave my soul out of this? For once. If this was a plumber's family for all way off base here. You figure you saved this family? Hey, maybe there's hope for yours. I just want to get back on the road, pick up some less complicated fares. She can't sleep. She's hungry. We have cookies. We should talk. People say things when they're angry, things they usually don't mean. People do things. What does he do? Look, I really appreciate your What help. does he do? He drinks himself to sleep every night. He lies to me, treats me like furniture in front of family, in front of friends. And? Plenty of slaps and plenty of punches. You call the police? Then go to a judge. Y you get a restraining order, any evidence of spousal abuse, he's done. They take his gun away, they put him behind a desk. Yeah, that, that'll solve his anger problem. Let him be angry. You'll be out of the house. Oh, I'm gonna be a lot farther than that. No, you see, you just, 
You can't just run away. You got a daughter. Are you saying that he hit her? No. I take the hit for Kayla. She's got me to slow him down to get her into the other room. He doesn't beat me because he hates me. He beats me because he needs somebody to beat. Yeah, it's me again, Marcellus. Don't make me leave a message at the district. Olshansky, huh? You from here originally? No, I flew in for the day. Your Eagles? Oh, here we go. Suck. Sixers? Suck. Flyers? Suck. Phillies? They wish they suck. Hold that thought. How long does it take you to return a phone call? I'm busy. I'm a cop. You're fresh and perky today. Oh, you have no idea. And your symphony orchestra? They blow. Hey, they're one of the best in the world. Who are you talking to? Giants fan. Marcellus, I need you to pull a personnel file. His name's Darren Adams. He's out of the 21st. I'm looking for protective orders, domestics, unnecessary roughness, clipping. There's nothing there. You already pulled it? What's going on? He's got a couple of police brutality allegations, just like someone else I know. This isn't about me. Oh, yeah, this is most definitely about you. How'd you find me? Inside info from a surly Chechnyan. Park it. We have confirmation that you picked her up at 10 o'clock. And you didn't um, drop red no motel in Radnor. Blueberry pancakes. I dropped them off. I didn't check them in. Pancakes are good. You're messing me up here. You? The second your name pops up on a district phone sheet, even for a lousy domestic, I'm involved, which I'm also grateful about. You believe the wife? I don't know what to believe. Me, I don't care. I don't give a damn what this guy Adams does at home. Because he's got your back. He's got somebody's back. Could be mine. You remember? Yeah. Can you return my fraternity pin? Tell her to call IAB. And you, you get the hell out of this. Because even though this Adams guy ain't as perfect as you, he's still blue. Washington. You play now, I'm talking to him, right? This old Zenith's all we got. And the bishop won't go for cable, so. I'm sure Kayla can find something to watch. She loves Ricky Lake. Jerry Springer. <laughs> Father, I, I really appreciate what you've done. I'll mention that to God, won't you? Your friend, he asks a lot of questions for a cab driver. Oh, Mike's a really good guy. So how long has he been undercover as a cab driver? He really is a cab driver. No, he's a cop. I know those eyes. The way he looks at you like he's waiting to bust you. Mike's retired. You tell Janine you kill her? she tell you I beat her? Yeah. OK, so what are you doing, protecting her until you can get to the truth? I got a lawyer. I went downtown, and I got a temporary custody order. And that's all the truth you need to know. Well, so far, all I've done is stopped your wife from running. Thanks so much. So now you can take me to her? Can't do that. Fine. Take her to a shelter. She won't go. Then give her to the police. I give her to the police? and their first call is to social services, you both lose. You're a cop. Was. OK, then you know how it is. You take down some punk who doesn't care if he lives or dies. You're not exactly uh, Dr. Phil when you get home. Get the adrenaline pumping, no release. It's tough to sit down to dinner and say, pretty please, pass the sugar, you know? Mm -hmm. So you lose your temper? Yeah. Raise your voice. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I lose control, and I probably scare the crap out of both of them. And I guarantee you, done the same thing to your family. Did she tell you why she walked out last night? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm an abuser. She found a uh, motel receipt in my pocket. I could have sworn I tossed the damn thing. Look. Maybe I'm not the perfect husband, but I take care of him. 
I pay the bills, I put food on the table, and I never, ever lay a glove on either of them. She wants to lie and screw up my job. I can deal with that. She wants to walk out on me, I don't like it. But what can I do? <sighs> what I can't handle is losing my thought. Proud with this courage. What you say? Here. Mikey, I gotta uh, I gotta ask you something, and I want a truthful answer. It's kind of rude. Kind of tough for me to ask. You need some money? Funny. No, were you, um. Were you ever scared when I was a cop? Well, I liked it better when you were a cop. I know. But were you ever scared? Sometimes, if you were out late or you didn't come home when you're supposed to. No, I mean. Did I, did I ever scare you? You know, you, you could tell me if you were. It's okay. Mikey, tell me. Did I scare you back then? You had a lot going on. You gotta be tough to be a cop, right? Can I go now? Yeah, go on. Bye, Dad. Good game. Thanks. Okay, we'll do that. Right. Tell me it's over, oh. Are you there, Mike? I'm busy here. If you want to talk, talk. Meet you at St. Victor's in 15 minutes. You're turning them over to him? I scared my kid. So now you want to terrify this kid? I'm turning them over to the system. Let them sort it out. That's what they do. They were here an hour ago. So where are they? What's going on? Maybe she got scared and ran. Why would she be scared here? Did you tell her I was a cop? You let her walk out of here? Why? I'm supposed to babysit? She's a grown woman. It's her kid. It's my kid, too. Back off. Sounds like maybe a little time apart might not be such a bad thing. Stay out of this, Padre. What the hell do you think you are? You don't even I know. I said back off. Shut your mouth. Some piece of work, Olshansky, you know that? All you damn well had to do was drive a car to an address, and you couldn't even do that without screwing it up! What could you have done different? Toss her out of your cab? Just let her run. You saw how he acted. Darren has every right to be pissed off at me. Darren's out of control. That's because I screwed up his light. He nearly took your head off. But he didn't. I would have. Mike, you are not Darren Adams. Thank you, Father Freud. <sighs> Just drive your cab. Looking for her isn't going to help you. Got it. Come on, the cops are already all over this. Yeah, but they got to obey the law.
Yes? I'm the cab driver that picked up your sister. She gave you my name? No, but the marriage license bureau did. Cops were already here. I know you can't come in without a warrant. No, cops can't. Cab drivers can go anywhere. What are you doing? You can't come in here. Yeah. Where is she? She's not here. Thanks, that's helpful. Get out of my house. Hey. So call the cops. I don't have to talk to you. Oh, good, Darren, wasn't that your wedding? Now, which one of your bridesmaids doesn't Darren know? Honey, hmm? uh, give me your name. Hey. Robin Fetterson. Hey. Tiffany Frazier. Hey. Nancy Roman. You play poker, Renee? You know what a tell is? When our circumstances change, our body language changes. You paused before you said Nancy's name. No, I didn't. That time you looked away. What's Nancy's address? I don't know you. Why would I hand over my sister? No, here's the only thing you know about me, Renee. The only thing you need to know right now. I am not a cop. I didn't have a choice. She didn't. Go get your things. Get off of me! What are you doing in Jersey? I'm calling the police. That's great. Save me the trouble. Tell New Jersey police you got a fugitive here. What are you talking about? You crossed state lines. You took a domestic squabble, you turned it into a kidnapping. If you're not gonna make the call, go get me some coffee. Coffee. Sweetie, why don't you come with me? I want to see my daddy. She wants to see her daddy. Baby, go with Aunt Renee. I'm trying to help you. You're turning us in. Running did not help your credibility. Oh, yeah, because you believe me over the cop. Because you weren't just going to hand us over. He's great. I'm the bitch. Now, why would I think that? He's the one who had the affair. He tell you that's why I left him? You got a different story? No. All right. You don't know what it's like to live in that house. What don't you get here? I can't do anything. No, no car, no credit cards, no checks. I get 10 minutes a week to call my mother. But did he ever hit you? Answer me. You ever been punched in the kidney? Darren punched me so hard that when I went to the bathroom, I was bleeding. And you know what he did next? He bent down. He took my hand. He kissed me on the cheek and he told me how much he loved me. And he was crying. So through all the beatings, you stayed with him because he loved you. I loved him. I loved him since I was 20 years old. And I thought that he loved me. We'll drive you back to Pennsylvania. But it's over. So what now? That punk ex-partner of yours. I checked with his dispatch. The guy hasn't taken a call all day. He's still with him. And you know how he operates. Speak to Heinzman and missing persons. He's aces. What happened to the code of always helping a brother in blue? There's a clause. No obligation to help a brother more than once if said brother is really, really a pain in the ass. I'm a pain in the ass because I love my wife and kid. Give me a cell phone. Who's your carrier? Where are you going with this? There's a new program launched in Philly called Friend Finder. Call your wife, press a button, gives you city, state, street. I, you know, I don't know if she has that. It's worth a shot. What's her number? No, don't. Hello? Hello? Put Oshansky on the phone. It's for you.
Friend finder? You're in New Jersey, Mike. That's bad. That's very bad. Call display going to be your evidence? It's going to be 100 ways back in Pennsylvania. I made one phone call, and there'll be New Jersey State Troopers all over you. You going to go to all that trouble? I'm flattered. I want this over, Mike. I don't make a deal. Well, it better be sweet. We let Janine and Darren figure this out. You and me are ghosts. You bring her in? On a platter. And what's the payback? You don't arrest us. Hey, where do we meet? I had a warrant. Where's Kayla? Where's Marcellus? The girl's not in the cab. What do you mean she's not in the cab? Where is she? I'm not just handing her over to you. Janine, what are you thinking? You need me. You got nothing without me. You gave me your word. I thought I'd hand her over if you didn't arrest us. What did you do? Who the hell's my daughter? Sometimes, though, you don't give me much choice. Drop these charges, and they'll take you to your girl. I dropped the charges. She's done nothing wrong. I mean, she'll get the kid. But right now, nobody's got her. It's just bad news for you and bad news for us, because without her, we can't prove harboring, and we can't prove kidnapping. So do your job. So what now? You grill me? No, I'm gonna let you walk out of here. Because I want everybody to figure I'm real tight with a dirty cop. If I start talking, you never know when I'm gonna stop. What the hell does that mean? Whatever the hell you want it to mean. Doing you a favor. Talking to you first. You talk first, you walk. And whoever doesn't talk goes to jail. He's got the same page. You fill in an address, sign on the bottom, you walk out of here. And the real beauty of it is, it makes my job so much easier. I don't have to worry about getting in your heads, breaking it down, building you up. That stuff's exhausting for me, too. He won't do it. That's right. You really got to know him these last couple of days? He was my partner for 12 years. It's a nice touch. But she still won't talk. Really? She ran from the church because she didn't trust you, right? And he didn't have anything at stake back then. Now he's looking at a cell door. She goes to jail. She loses her kid, right? It's not your kid, not your life. You want to know the problem with your strategy? Yeah. I'm curious. She doesn't care. She would rather go to jail than turn her kid over to Adams. And because you know she won't talk, you got nothing to be afraid of. Which means I won't talk either. Which means you got nothing. So, she's not afraid of jail because she loves her daughter too much. Okay. What do you think of the story? Janine, it's been an accident. What? Um, apparently, Kayla got out of wherever she was hiding and she got into the street. You think I can sell that? Is she all right? Is Kayla all right? I, I don't know how bad it is. I'm sorry. Your husband's on the way down, and I'm sure he's going to give me a call. Darren. Yeah. You see, now you got something to be afraid of. Now you got a reason to talk, because she will. 
I want to be there. No, no, I'm, I, I'm, I'm sorry. The deal's off the table. You're going to be charged with child abandonment, reckless endangerment. I can't let you. She's out. my baby. You have to let me talk to her. You know what? If we made a deal five minutes ago, I'd be happy to let you go. But I. I... Look, it's. Please, sit down. Please, please sit down. Okay. Who's to say that we didn't cut a deal five minutes ago, right? So here's what we're gonna do. Fill in the address, sign, and I'll have an officer drive you right over. Okay. You remember last winter? Monk's poker game. You were placing a bet. One hand in particular. You rotated your chips, just like you're rotating that pen. You were bluffing. Why don't you fill in the address where you found her? You don't trust me? I'm cutting you a break? I'm ignoring a crime against a fellow police officer so you can sit with your child and you don't trust me? So you sign the thing or you don't sign the thing? I don't give a damn. He's lying. Tell me that he was lying. He was lying. Then why are they letting us go? Because they couldn't make us talk, which means they got nothing to hold us on. And they're dropping the charges? Not a chance. Sorry, I dragged you into all of this. Me too. Are you married? Legally. You know my story. Hey, it's Oshansky. I'm coming in. Everybody pick up. I need a big favor. Little box gun. Louis Mon, 47, just got in from Washington. Big tippers. Come on, Birdman. You know you owe me one big time from last week. A cover you with Z, I gotta lose a cop. Why didn't you say so, Mon? Uh, let's move it. He's letting her run. Pull up. Oh, relax. They're taking it. Listen. Hey! Hey! 
Move your car, or I'm hauling your ass in. Hey, gotta make a living, man. Be out your way in no time. <laughs> Welcome to our city of Ruffin' and Where are we going, man? Of woods until you draw a card with one blue block. I did that. Now my gingerbread man moves to the candy castle. This way I cannot play. You cheat at Candyland. Hey, look. Mommy! Oh. <sighs> Forgive, I do not have same reaction to see your face. Sorry, we're late. It's okay, she's a nice girl. You will now pay me $80. It's a bit steep for babysitting, don't you think? I babysit. I also answer calls, take messages from police. Double time for not talking to police. OK. Let's go. What happens now? He handed your ass to you, didn't he? Probably carried you all these years, huh? You're talking to a superior officer, son. Superior my ass. Which I'm gonna give a serious kick into if you don't keep that tongue behind your teeth. What? You want to slug me? You're going to answer your phone. Adams. Oh, sweetie, I've, I've been so worried about you. Kay Kayla, listen to me. Tell Daddy where you are. No, 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 I, I can't do it. I'm not giving you a choice. They can't be watching every bus depot in the country. Oh, yeah, I'll stick around, and I'll go to jail for you. Hey, sweetheart, did we wake you? I not sleep. We're doing this my way. I gotta go. Where are you going? I got to return Bert's cab. Kayla. Can you watch over your mommy till I get back? When will you be back? Soon. When? Yeah, when? Well, before the sun comes up. You know when that is? In the morning. That's right. I'll be back in the morning. You're not running. Lock the door behind me. Go away. Honey, I'm not going to press charges. You have every cop in the city after me. Are they here now? You think the store would just be standing? Come on. 
Come on, let me say hello to Kayla. Mommy, is that Daddy? <gasps> Hi, sweetie. I miss you. Janine, you know it's over. Just open the door. So much. Can we go home now, Daddy? Not just yet, sweetie. I need to talk to mommy, okay? He'll be right back. That's so. Yeah, he just went to get Kayla some juice. That's not what the man said, mommy. Yes, Kayla, he just went to get you some juice. Hey. Where'd he go, sweetie? He said he needed to drive his friend's cab. He'll be back in the morning. Kayla, go into the bedroom. Daddy just got... Right now. What are you worried about? I don't know. You see me hitting you? No. Have I touched you? You're angry. Oh, damn right I'm angry. I come home from my shift at 4 o'clock in the morning and my baby girl's not in her bed. I was protecting her. From me? Is that what you're telling people? No! Is that your latest story that I beat my Dad, daughter? Just settle down! Why should I? I had to file a missing persons report for my own daughter! I'm sorry. I didn't even know if I'd see her again. Would you be caught? No! No, you'd be angry. Yes! Yeah, you'd want to hurt somebody. You knew that she was safe. But I have to be insane right now not to beat the crap out of you. Just get it over with. You want me to hit you? I want this over! You're a crazy bitch! Damn you! All right, all right. Hey! Get off me! Yeah, hit me, you bastard. No. You used our damn daughter to set me up! What happened to your face? Cycle through a lamp at me! Why wouldn't you hit me? You've done everything else! <coughs> He never touched you. Ever. I told you what you needed to hear. The bruises, the broken bones. Are you crazy? Huh? Why did you say he hit you? You don't know what it's like. Janine, if he didn't hit you, it is not abuse. I couldn't do anything. Anything. No wearing red. No, no high heels. I had to beg him to buy toilet paper. Apple juice for Kayla. Anything, everything you control, everything. Hit me, hit me, you hit me so I can get a restraining order. Make a mark people can see so I can get custody. Do something to me so I know that it's not just in my head. Mommy, stop. <laughs> Kayla, it's okay. <laughs> He's pressing charges like none of this was his fault. Against you? No. No, he's a real saint that way. He's not you, Mike. No. <laughs> you ever see a guy on crank? Huh. Thank God that stuff went out of fashion. Huh? Heroin addicts can deal with. They ask for money, they take your money. And will shoot you just for sport. Mike, if you're gonna natter on about the good old days. It's a good story, Chris. This kid in West Philly. It's around the liquor store. Me and Marcellus, we walk in. And he doesn't stop. Figures his best way out is start pounding on the Vietnamese guy behind the counter. So we tackle him. Which right there. He's doing a guy a favor. And it, he just, he, you know, he just, he keeps clawing at us. I mean, this kid, he deserved a beating so bad. You gave him one. I would have. But I looked out the sore window, 
and some concerned citizen is videotaping the whole damn thing. <laughs> so I hit my wife instead. Mikey, you know, he's, he's, he's still in diapers. And I, I guess she's having a bad day too. I, you know, I, I say something. She's not listening. She started yelling. I started yelling. He's not home. I came to. I came to see you. 